everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. For today's five minute find, I'm going to show you some unique ways that you can use embossing folders on your paper crafting projects. So when you take a look at your embossing folder, the side where your image is raised is going to create this embossed impression. Now on the opposite side, you get the debossed impression. Now I want you to know this because as we're creating today, you're going to see that sometimes I use the embossed side and sometimes I use the debossed side. So I think you guys have seen me do this before. I do have a video where I did some Valentine cards where I added the inking to the embossing folder. Here I have the wood panel embossing folder and I'm going to be using just the regular water-based dye ink. Now if you have a steady hand, you can just swipe this across the embossing folder. If you have a really detailed embossing folder, you can use a brayer and you can just use that brayer with your ink and just go right across that embossing folder. And that just ensures that you're not getting any ink in between all the little crevices. Now, like I said, this one's not as detailed, so we can just swipe and then we're going to place our piece of paper on the opposite side we're going to fold over the embossing folder and then we're going to run it through so you can see that just created some inked images in between all of the embossing now for me this didn't give me enough color you can see where i used the brayer it added a lot more color so i can come in grab that ink once again i'm just going to ink everything up here and then I'm going to go on the opposite side and I'm just going to line this up, bring this back down, and then we'll run it through again. And that gave us a much better coloring and impression. So let me show you what I did here, the same technique. This one though, I used Versamark with clear embossing powder. I did the exact same thing. I used the Versamark ink and then I sprinkled it with embossing powder. And so I got kind of this shiny glossy look in between all of my images once I heated that embossing powder. So this is just a really pretty look, one that you can use for like maybe a, a quinceanera or a wedding. I just love the way that looks. I have already embossed this white piece of cardstock with our Spring Blossoms embossing folder. And you can see I'm going to be using the debossed side. So the embossed side, the flowers are raised up. On the debossed side, the flowers are inset. So I'm just gonna grab my watercolors here and I'm going to just drop color inside those little insets. And the watercolor is just gonna fill in and stay within the little inset. So then we kind of have this watercolory image we've created using the inset side of our embossing folder. Now remember watercolors are free flowing so you don't need to have all of these filled in perfectly. You just kind of want an abstract background using that color and you can come in and bring in some other color if you want. Kind of blend those in together and just create this fun little background image for your card or your scrapbook page. So that's using that debossed side where everything's inset with watercolor. So the last thing I want to show you is a fun technique you can do for your scrapbook pages. All of our embossing folders, big and little, have an open strip at the top. So I have cut a little strip here of cardstock and it's a little bit smaller than the opening at the top of my embossing folder. I'm gonna grab my little oxide inks here and I am going to add some ink to the emboss side. Then I'm going to place my embossing folder on here and run it through my embossing machine. All right, and so you can see we have this fun little background that we've created. Now we can come back again, add some more color. And then we're going to take this piece of cardstock and we're gonna push it through the slit and we're going to place it down onto the embossing folder, bring this down again, and run it through. All right, and now we've created, using this embossing folder with that open strip, a little 
border that we can stick down on our scrapbook page. How fun is that? So today we learned a couple of different techniques you can use with your embossing folders. We have that scrapbook border that we created because all of our embossing folders do have a little slit at the top so you can make a full length embossed piece. We talked about using the deboss side with watercolors and we talked about how to ink the embossing folder to create a shaded image or you could use it with Versamark ink to create that beautiful glossy background. So this card was made using that watercolor background. I talked about using your debossed side and adding watercolor pigment to the cardstock. You can see here I used shades and colors that matched my papers and then I just added some fun little stickers and other elements to create this adorable little card. On this card, I cut down the cardstock that I had added the clear embossing powder to. So you can see there's a little bit of shininess in between all of those embossed images. I just cut them down into one and a quarter inch squares, place it down onto the paper, create this fun little napkin looking design. And then I just designed the card using some fun little elements from our Eat, Play, Love collection. The patterns for these cards came from our Make It From Your Heart Volume 5. This is our newest idea book. It has both cards and scrapbook pages in it, and it includes all kinds of recipes. So all the measurements are right here inside this book so that you could also create these two cards. I hope that today's five minute find video inspired you and gave you a few new ideas for using embossing folders on your projects. Make sure to check out that card making collection icon. I have placed all of my card making projects right there in that playlist for you to view. While you're at it, go ahead and click that subscribe icon so that you don't miss out on my next five minute find video. I hope you have a wonderful week. I can't wait to see what you create.